We are baking savory and delicious chocolate chip cookies today on Grandma Bessie's house. When baking cookies, it's best to use a rimless sheet pan. I have seen them in action. However, since I don't own one, I simply turn my rim sheet pan upside down. Also, line the sheet pan with wrinkled parchment paper. That way, the parchment paper stays in one place throughout the baking process. I don't know about you, but I hate it when the parchment paper starts to curl over on itself when I'm trying to bake something. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please like and share it. Also subscribe to our channel. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oven reaches temperature, roast your pecans. When finished, take them out of the oven, allow them to cool, and keep the oven on. Place one and a quarter cups of flour into your electric mixing bowl. You can also do this step by hand. See the video's description for more information. Add to the flour 3 quarter teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of table salt, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Lightly combine. To make the wet ingredients, add one and a half cups of packed light brown sugar to a separate large bowl. In another bowl, melt one and a half sticks or 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once melted, set the butter aside and allow it to cool. While the butter cools, whip together one large egg and one large egg yolk. After whipping, set the egg mixture to the side. Add the cool melted butter to the light brown sugar, along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also add the egg mixture. With a whisk, combine the wet ingredients until fully blended. Put a little elbow grease into it. Now it's time to pour the wet ingredients into the electric mixer with the dry ingredients. Combine on low speed until the flour is fully incorporated. You might have to pause mixing in order to scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl with a plastic spatula. Combine again to make sure all of the flour is fully blended. To the bowl add 2 thirds to 3 quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and 1 cup of shredded coconut. Before we add the roasted pecans, we need to prepare them by roughly chopping them into smaller pieces. Add them to the bowl. Turn the mixer on low speed and blend until just combined. A 
Again, scrape the sides of the bowl and the bottom of the bowl with a plastic spatula. And combine one last time. Your cookie dough should look like this. When we were young, Grandma Bessie would make a little extra cookie dough so us kids could eat it. Unfortunately, I don't think they allow kids to eat raw cookie dough anymore. The stuff is good. To make oh so good large cookies, use an ice cream scoop. Make sure it's a full scoop of cookie dough, about a quarter cup. Scoop onto the sheet pan with the wrinkled parchment paper. Do not, I repeat, do not overcrowd the pan. Space each cookie about two inches apart. Once the cookies lie in the sheet pan, place them in the preheated oven for 16 minutes, turning the pan halfway through baking. At 16 minutes, remove the cookies from the oven and allow them to rest for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, place them on a baking rack to finish cooling. Repeat the scooping process until all of the cookies are baked. Once all of the cookies are baked and cooled, place them on a plate and serve. These cookies are just so doggone good. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.